Ladies, gentlemen, beautiful people in between, I'm Clone Six of Nine. Let's play Assassin's Creed 2. Here we are in Venice. Leonardo's flying machine has successfully flown me into my destination. I unfortunately did not make it in time to save the Doge. The Doge? To save the Doge. But. We are about to talk to Leonardo, and before I get right into it, please hit that like button, consider subscribing, don't forget to follow me on Twitch. Let's go. Is it true? They say you killed the Doge. I was trying to save him, Leonardo. Doge. But the truth matters little. I failed. And now I'm the most wanted man in Venezia. Well, perhaps you are in luck. It's Carnevale in Venezia. This is the time when everybody goes without a face. That's Super why I'm lucky. here. Do you have a mask I can wear? Of course, of course. Somewhere in here. Grazie, amico mio. And I have something for you. Hey. Oh, more of the Codex. Aha, uh -huh. this one's quite complex. Hmm. It's a new design, my friend. A mechanism for your wrist, but not a blade. In fact, it seems to be a kind of arma da fuoco, but as small as a hummingbird. Is that possible? I have no idea. Let's build it and find out. Oh. modification let's go oh, good fireworks too so nobody will notice Goes the pop, pop, pop. What's this? Uh. You've done me good, brother. Macerto. But I'm sure your return was not just to play with new toys. Is it about this terrible new dodge they've installed? Marco Barbarigo. Then you'll want to speak with your friend Antonio. I've seen him quite a bit lately at... a, a mutual friend's. I'd look for him there, in the Dorsoduro district, to the south. Ask for Sister Teodora. Sister? Well, um... <clears throat> in a way. Yes, Sister. And Ezio, you can't be carrying weapons out there today. Grazie, Leonardo. Now, how about that mask? Oh, 
Howdy. Antonio, we need to talk. Ezio! <laughs> Ezio Auditore! Teodora! Meet the most uh, <coughs> talented man in all of Venezia. Madonna. Ah, Sister Teodora. I never imagined you as a religious type. <laughs> it depends how you understand religion, my son. It's not just men's souls that call for soothing. Come, join us, Ezio. Have a drink. The finer things. Meet the that. ladies. Ah! Murderer! Butcher! He sliced Lucia and stole so, her money! So, Mr. Ezio, let's, go. let's see just how talented you are. After him! You ain't getting away with this. Or I will carve up another one. Oh, uh, Don't make me kill it. Scum. Killing beautiful ladies like that. I want no part of this. <laughs> you have our gratitude, Ezio. Why is it wherever you go, trouble follows? Antonio, I trust you know why I'm here. I imagine to read Venice of Marco Barbarico. But really, Ezio, we did this once already. And this new Templar Toge is a bigger culo than the last. Never mind that he never leaves the palazzo. Yes, except... For tonight. Marco wouldn't dare miss Carnevale. How do you know this? In fact, he's throwing the biggest party of them all. But getting in won't be so simple. You'll need a golden mask for entry. And before you think about forging one, keep in mind, each mask is numbered. Fortunately for you, I have an idea. Let's see if we can't win you a mask. Carnevale, yeah? Let's go. What is it, my son? You want to ask me something? I do. Forgive sure. me, but why is it you wear a nun's habit if you aren't one? <laughs> well, whoever said I wasn't. Indeed, I am married to the Lord. And yet you are also a courtesan. You run a bordello. So? I see no contradiction. How I choose to practice my faith. What I choose to do with my body. These are my choices to make. Get a girl. Like many young women, I was drawn to the church, but grew disillusioned by the believers of the city. Men hold God only as an idea in their heads, not in the depths of their hearts and bodies. Men must know how to love in order to reach salvation. My girls and I provide that to our congregation. No church would agree with me, I realized. So I created my own. It may not be traditional, but men's hearts grow firmer in my care. <laughs> Among other things, I'm sure. Wording. Right, where are we gonna win? I ask. Signore, signore! Come on, come all! The games of Carnevale are about to begin. Do you have the coraggio to compete for as grand a prize as this? This year, like every year, the Golden Mask will provide entry for one, a uno solo, to our most beloved Doge's personal ball. Who would not desire such an exceptional reward? Come, compete! Whoever proves themselves champion in each of four games today shall be the Doge's personal guest tonight. You'd best get to it, Ezio. Signori, signori! This... Welcome! Gentlemen, whether you win or lose, this will certainly be your favorite game of the day. Ladies, here's how the game is played. All the ladies in the district have ribbons. Your job is to obtain them. 
Whoever has the most before my hourglass runs out is one step closer to winning the golden mask. Get him. Hello. Oh, just pickpocket. Okay. Easy. I trouble you for a ribbon. Mind if I join you? Come inside. Have anything for me, Belle Mia? Jeez. You're all looking lovely this afternoon. Trouble you for a ribbon. We have a winner! You have more ribbons than any man here. You proved yourself a favorite of the ladies and are now one step closer to the greatest prize of all time. with a game of speed and endurance. Many Race. challenges lie in your path. The game is simple, but finishing it is near impossible. Start when you're ready. The first contestant to beat the course record is one step closer to the golden mask. Get race and beat the record. Simple enough. Scare me like that. Dove if I knew it was water, but I just jumped out of faith. Am I gonna not make it? Okay. The winner! You've proven yourself the fastest and strongest in Venezia! 
you are now one step closer to the grand prize. Suspicious. Welcome, welcome! The rules of the game are simple. Outrun your opponents, take the flag from the middle of the field, and bring it back to your starting position to score. If the opposition holds the flag, you must knock them down to steal it. Be the first to capture the flag three times, and the golden mask may yet be yours! Yikes. Closer than I would like to admit. We have a winner! You've protected your flag and captured the enemies. You've proven yourself a warrior without fear and inch ever closer to victory! Benvenute Lottatori! The game is simple. There's only one rule, no weapons. Fight until you are the last man left standing. Will it be you or two? Hmm. Who will win the golden mask? Let's bring up the 
thinks himself some kind of campeon. Go on, Dango. Show him how sadly mistaken he is. Oui. This ain't me, boy. Can't even land a hit on me, huh? <laughs> Is there nobody else to challenge our man in the ring? Do we have a winner? Ah, uh, we have combatants. Weapons? So that's how it's going to be, eh? Enough of you left to bury. Signora e signori, the games of Carnevale have come to a glorious conclusion. Come see our winner claim his golden mask. Our winner has proven himself the fleetest of foot, the strongest of champions, the wisest strategist, and clearly a favorite of the ladies. With four games won lealmente, the winner of the golden mask is... <coughs> the winner of the golden mask is Dante Moro. Congratulations. We'll see you this evening. All right, time to steal it from him. Okay. Well, Amanda sealed his death letter. Sorry, Ezio. We could not have known Silvio would cheat as he did. <laughs> you should have. Sister, you told us to let you know if we saw that rotten culo who stole the golden mask. He's on his way to the Doge's party. I will go. I can catch him before he arrives and take back the mask. How? By killing the poor stronzo? Yes. You know what's at stake. No. If you kill him, they'll cancel the party. And Marco will retreat back into his palazzo. We'll have wasted our time again. Steal the mask instead. Quietly. My girls can help. They're already on their way to the party, all along the route. They can help you distract him while you acquire the mask. Va bene. I can do that.
Say, got it right here. Buonasera, signore. You made it. Marco is on a boat, just offshore. He's set to make a speech in a few minutes. Use my girls until then. Move with them to stay out of sight. Find him. <laughs> oh, no, 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 out of my way, buddy. Stay with me. I'm supposed to go there? Okay, no, I said to hold out. <laughs> signore e signori, I present to you the beloved Doja Venezia. Benvenuti. Welcome, my friends to the grandest social event of the season, at peace or at war, in times of prosperity or paucity, Venezia will always have carnival! Liberta is not leaving the boat. I will have to swim out there. I wouldn't try it. I'd be spotted right away. Then I'll fight my way out there. Wait! Tonight, we celebrate what makes us great. How bright our lights shine over the world! That's it! Your pistola! The one you stopped the murderer with. It's as loud as those explosions. Time it right, and you'll walk out of here unnoticed. I like the way you think, sister. I'll be waiting for you back at the brothel, my son. We all know who we have come through trouble time. But we have come through them together, and Venezia stands a stronger city for it. Transitions of power are difficult for all, but 
we have weathered the shift with grace and tranquility. It is no easy thing to lose a doge in the prime of his life and to the cruelty of an assassin who still hides in our midst. I didn't time it right. Oh no, that works. No. It's too soon. I'm not ready. We rarely are. Que la morte non sia crudele. Requiescat in pace. Nope, they noticed. Oh, honest. My brother embarrasses himself for his display. You have no right to speak of him. He's the Doge. He is Doge in name only. And it's Venetian money he's paying. There are larger things at stake, and you know it. Marco was the one chosen to leave. Your father may have thought he'd never amount to much, may have foisted his political ambitions on you, but it doesn't matter now, does it? Given where things stand. I never wanted to be Doge. Then it seems you have succeeded wildly. <laughs> Power is more than wealth. Does my brother truly believe he was chosen for any reason other than his riches? He was chosen for his wisdom and leadership. And this is what he does with such wisdom? Uh, for a light show, he hides away in the palazzo while the city comes apart at the seams. And then he thinks some expensive explosions will make people forget all their problems. The people love spectacle. It's human nature. You'll see. Must be exhausted. Come, relax. Ah, the savior of Venezia. What can I say? Perhaps it was wrong of me to doubt so readily. Now we'll see where all the pieces fall. Enough of that now. You've worked hard, my son. I feel your tired body in need of comfort and succor. But I have such aches and pains, sister. I may need a great deal of comfort and succor. All that can be arranged. Girls. <laughs> Refreshing. It's non complete. Eighty-six. 
Ezio, Ezio. Sir Antonio wishes to speak with you. Grazie for the message. All right. Honestly, that seems like a good spot to end it for this episode. It's a quick one. We obtained some new gear. Got a new kill. We killed that fake doge. Doge. Whatever they say it. Gonna go talk to Antonio. I think it was about a year in between, maybe. I don't know. I've never paid attention to those numbers. I always forget. But yeah, a quick one today. Don't forget to like the video. Please consider subscribing. Follow me on Twitch. And as always, stay sexy, stay safe, and above all else, love each other.